Hey guys, this is Kelly from Northwest Bras. I want to explain today seaming in our bras. Now this can be padded, unpadded, lined, unlined, any of the bras will work, but I want you to pay attention to the seams for bras that have seams around the cuffs. Now this is because when you buy a new bra, those seams are brand new and they haven't worn in yet, so you're more likely to see them under a shirt. But if you pay attention to the stitching, you can actually learn whether that seaming will fade over time or whether it's going to be there for the lifetime of the bra. Now first off, you need to have stitching in your cups, especially if you have a bigger cup size like what I'm holding here, because it's holding a lot of breast tissue. So don't just say, oh, we can't have seaming at all. Some of the bras definitely do need seaming because that's what keeps that structure, that breast tissue in where it's supposed to be. It keeps it up, it keeps you happy, keeps the pressure off your back, all the things and the reasons we wear bras for. So we're gonna zoom in a little bit and I wanna show you these two different seams on this bra. You'll notice here, this seam is this instep seam where the, the two fabrics come like toe to toe. And then the stitching is such, such that that seam goes down into the fabric and it's gonna be a nice flush seam. Now, when you first put this on, it's gonna be a little bumpy, but as this seam wears in, it will flatten out. Versus on the back here, you see this little edge. Now this is two overlapping pieces of fabric that they stitched together. You get a more supportive structure, but it does mean that you're going to see this kind of bump no matter how long this bra is worn. So those are the two biggest differences is you have one that's seamed where the ends meet and then they seam them facing down so that they're nice and smooth after it's worn for a time versus one that gives you a little bit more of a stiffer kind of boning without having the bone actually in there. And those are the two fabrics pulled on top of each other. So to give you a better visual, the two that where the seam will smooth it out is those two fabrics coming together, coming together like this and then it's stitched. And so you see the fabric comes down and then as it pulls apart and stretches, you see this nice smoothing across the top where my fingers are here versus laying the two fabrics on like that. And then no matter what you do, you always have one fabric on top of the other. So if you're looking for something that's a smooth fit and you're a bigger bust and need to have seaming, that's something you can pay attention for both while you're here and when you're shopping abroad. We are open 11 to 5 Monday through Saturday and we'd love to have you guys come in and try out these different varying seams. Thanks so much.